What's going on Knights? Critical Redemption bring you a retro review of the classic N64 game The Legend of Zelda Orcarina of Time. The story is you are a little boy named Link. You are tasked to find a fairy. Navi comes to you. You have to save Hyrule from the destruction of Ganondorf. Though you are a little kid, seven years go by, you pull the Master Sword out of its pedestal and you become an adult. Now it's up to you to save the temples, restore the Triforce, and save the princess from the evil Ganondorf. And that's all in a nutshell for the story. The story will continue as you grow. You could go back in time and go forward in time. And that's one of the great things about this game. This, time, this story is basically based around time itself. And that's something that really captured the N64 players and all gamers out there to continue the story. The music is so beautiful in this game, you will get lost in everything. I mean, it's so well told, and throughout the story, you'll run into so many characters. So let's get into this game review and find out what I think of The Legend of Zelda or Ocarina of Time. Right when you begin playing this game, you know that you're in for a thrill ride. And the controls really hold the game together, and that's something that most games do not carry. Most 3D game designers still haven't mastered the arts of controlling characters in 3D environment, but this game nails it, and that's not the case here. Link moves beautifully, I mean you can go throughout Hyrule Field controlling his various actions with his stick. And then when you get the Master Sword, you could also do that. Essentially, your B button will always attack with the sword. Your B button is your best friend in this game. You'll hit everything with the B button. Then the A button. However, if you guys should know, it acts as an action button. So you have to be very careful on how you use it. Performing every non-item related task in this game is going to be very hard. So at various times... You climb, grab, dive, talk, and lots more in this game. You'll be using the A button. Also, three of the C buttons are used for items in even the Orcarina itself, which can be assigned to any of the three buttons, which is really fantastic. Let's say you grab uh, arrows. You could place it at whatever yellow uh, button, directional button you want to. The, the top C button zooms in to first person perspectives, which is awesome which allows you to look around your environment. The R shoulder button is used for blocking with the shield. So the Z trigger is perhaps the most important button when it comes to dealing with enemies. So you want to be careful and use the Z button a lot because that will make you flip. Hitting the Z button will also uh, let you look at the enemy so you can lock on to the opponent. So then you could attack him from there. There you can circle, strap around him, hop from side to side, which is awesome, and always block in their direction. This is the main key for fighting. All but most basic of enemies is extremely well conceived, and this is what I really like about this. They took a lot of consideration, and they listened to a lot of the fans before they made this game, and the controls are graphically, and the gameplay is beautiful. I have nothing else bad to say about the gameplay. Graphically, Orphan of Time is simply unmatched, and it, it's so beautiful from 98 and until now, it's just graphically astounding for its time. Everything about the game just looks fantastic in my opinion. You can see Death Mountain in the background of some portions of the game, which is superb. And complete with various smoke effects, which is really cool, depending on what stage of game you're in, the uh, cinematics, which of course use the game engine, look absolutely spectacular. And the, and the effects, the time travel sequence, especially sweet looking. When you pull the sword out of its pedestal and it brings you down to that view, becoming older Link is amazing. The game sound is also really quite amazing itself. Every tune in the game, effects are so perfect. The speech consists of mostly laughter, gasp, and battle yelps. 
heavy on that yeah and works very very well this game also takes your location into consideration which is really really good I had a lot of fun in the dungeons and large canyons okay the one thing that really pissed me off was the water temple and I said this before in my old review the water temple was one of the hardest hardest temples I've ever played in any single video game this is so frustrating that it just you want to throw the N64 controller out of the window I mean you have such a hard time you have to constantly on the N64 version switch from the boots iron boots press the start button go back do this do that that was the only downfall I had about this game but man I still had so much fun playing this. I, I can name so many of the uh, Orcarina of Time songs, and the more you learn throughout the game, the songs, and unlocking all the various temples, there's tons of fun. And also, the characters in this game are superb. You'll run into Princess Zelda, you'll run into uh, Sheik, you'll run into older Princess Zelda, and I won't spoil any more characters for you if you guys have not played this game which hopefully you guys have but wow graphically this game is beautiful for its time and it was one of the first 3d games i've ever played on the n64 and i love personally this is my opinion i prefer the n64 older link versus the 3ds older link i don't know for me uh, or older Link in the 3DS kind of looks cartoony, kind of anime-ish to me. And this one, Link looks like he came out of like some like graphic novel or something. But that's just my opinion. Overall, the graphics are real beautiful for this game, and I have nothing bad to say about them. Did I enjoy this game? Hell yeah! Did I enjoy the gameplay? Yes. Did I enjoy the story? Yes, yes. I mean, I really have nothing else bad to say about this game. Despite the water temple, I had so much fun playing this game. Since I was a kid until now, I will play this game over and over. And I, I'm so happy that I own it for the 3DS, but my favorite will always be the Nintendo 64 version. I mean, just so many memories passing by. You know, me being 25 already and playing this game when I was eight years old was just amazing. The music doesn't get old. The Orcarina with the music that you learn is fantastic. Older Link, Young Link, Navi can be a pain in the ass sometimes, but I enjoy, uh, I enjoy her for, <laughs> although she says, hey, listen, watch out. But, you know, she was always fun to have in the game to let you know that there was trouble nearby. The bosses are fantastic. I mean, some of the best bosses in an RPG game to date. I mean, this is probably where Skyrim got its idea from and other games like Dark Souls and, you know, Bloodborne. This game is what taught other games to be such amazing. I mean, uh, such amazing games in my honest opinion. I mean... The battle system is superb. I mean, just playing as Link, hearing those hi ya, ha, you know, it's just, it makes you feel like you're in the game. And I had so much fun. And sometimes I laugh when he falls. Like when I would fall to my death, you would hear him go, ah, you know, and older Link, I love his voice. I just honestly, I think I find it amusing. And that's one of the things that caught me. And honestly, I had so much fun playing it. But, you know, you learn from the water temple. You know, I may say that's most of, the most annoying part in this game, yes, but at the same time, you learn. You learn how to grow with it and how to get past it. Also, like, getting the keys, getting the dungeon maps, that can be a pain too, but it's also fun to look throughout all the dungeons, the temples, uh, inside Job Job's belly, you have so much fun just kind of con it confuses you But it also brings this game to what it's worth and I give this game a 10 out of 10 I have nothing bad to say about this game. This is one of the best childhood games ever created and I mean that uh, Personally from my honest opinion. This is critical redemption. Thank you for all the subs, and I'll see you guys very soon. Happy gaming. Take care